Hey again, guys. Do you know what I like to do after I make a video? I like to make another video. Hey, I'm sporting my shirt that uh, Rick brought me to the National. He brought us all t-shirts, and this is one I got. <laughs> That's an actual picture of the Cobra smoking in the dugout. Times sure have changed. So I wanted to share with you now one of my all-time favorite baseball cards and this card has a lot of nostalgia for me i remember the first time i ever saw it at the flea market i used to go to as a kid and i still remember what i paid for it seven dollars yes not three i paid seven dollars for this one and i went back man i think i went back several weeks in a row because that was pricey for a card and I'm sure it was uh, overpriced at the time for this card, but this guy's a Pittsburgh icon, a Pittsburgh legend. And growing up outside of Pittsburgh, I'm sure it was uh, marked up at the time. So it was probably a $3 card in another city, but I loved it so much and I kept passing it. And I finally, uh, finally saved up my money and pulled the trigger. And uh, so I still have my original raw one and it's in great condition, a very sharp one. But I had an opportunity to pick up a nice sharp 8.5, so I did. And that's the 1959 Bill Mazeroski. Now I get a little fired up when people talk smack on him that he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. You know, I've had the opportunity to hang out with Maz a few times. He's a man's man, a nice man. And, uh, and I remember standing at a bar with him once and I didn't want to bring up baseball, right? I didn't want to be one of those people that wants to talk baseball with him, but he brought it up to me and we were talking. And at that time, as uh, in the early, early 90s, uh, he said that Barry Bonds was the best player in baseball. So we had that discussion. And I remember when Ozzie Smith got into the Hall of Fame, he said, if, if they put Ozzie in, they should put me in. So the first time I was with him, I was friends with George Blanda's brother, Paul. And Paul knew him. And we all played golf. And we were drinking together. And I was, I was busting his chops a little bit. Those of you who have hung out with me at the National will know uh, I like to bust chops a little bit. So, um, <laughs> so I looked at him and I said, don't you think Jose Lind is the greatest defensive second baseman the Pirates ever had? And uh, he got a little fired up. He's like, who holds the all-time record for leading assists at second base? And I'm like, Nelly Fox? So I had a little, I had a little fun with him. But... Uh, Bill Mazeroski, Bill Mazeroski, led the league in assists at second base nine times, the most in history. I think the second most was seven. He turned more double plays at second base than any other second baseman in history. In the 1960s, he had the highest war of any second baseman. He was a phenomenal defensive second baseman. No one turned a double play faster. Smooth fielding, fantastic defensive second baseman. He had a higher fielding percentage than Ozzie Smith. Now granted, they're two different positions, but still at an extremely high fielding percentage. Now Maz came up, my dad always tells me he had good power, right? Um, but he wasn't a high average Hitter. I think he had a lifetime batting average somewhere in the 260 range. But he had good power, as he demonstrated in the 1960 World Series. And my father told me that uh, the Pirates had a, a hitting coach. I think it might have been, I can't remember if it was Harvey the Hat, uh, Harvey the Hat, Harry the Hat, Walker. But they got a new batting coach, and they decided they were going to turn Maz into more of a, a higher average hitter. And they... My dad says that they ruined him from, they ruined his power. In other words, he, his average stayed the same and he hit less home runs. 
they uh, they didn't allow him to use the power um, that he had. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's that's what my dad tells me. My father, man, my father and my grandfather, uh, uh, my grandmother rather, my father and my grandmother, his mother, just avid baseball fans. Watch every game uh, as and and as long as I can remember. Every time I'd go to my grandmother's house, she'd have the baseball game on. So uh, anyway, I'm I'm thrilled to add this higher higher end example. I don't usually get get excited for um, the grade. I really don't. Um, I just want examples of the card, but because this is such a uh, nostalgic card and one of my favorite cards of all time, uh, I'm real happy to get an 8.5. Just too good of a price to pass up. Perfectly centered. And classic Maz there, playing defense. So that's what I have for you. Thanks for watching.